Hey, before we dive into this week's episode of Wars Wednesday, I just want to remind everybody we got an official sponsor, Print Pirate. The link to their Etsy store is down below. Make these awesome. 3D printed tokens for your Star Wars Unlimited games, also some other cool Star Wars stuff, like helmets, Christmas ornaments, and use uh, code BOARDBARISTA to get 25% off. Again, link down below. Hey honey? Yeah, what's up? everybody, it's your board Barista Fen, and I'm here for a Wars Wednesday, where I just want to talk about one of the new spoiled cards real quick and then dive into what I've been playing. So we got Kylo Ren up here on the screen. He is a villainy aggression leader, no surprise there. He is the poster card artwork on the aggression card in Spark of the Rebellion, so here he is as a leader for Shadows of the Galaxy. So we have... Uh, okay, so he has an action of... Uh, exhaust him, discard a card from your hand, give a unit plus two plus zero for the phase. We already had his TIE Fighter uh, spoiled as well. It costs two, it's a two three, and it has the ability that if it's discarded, you get to play it from... If it's discarded from your hand or your deck, you get to play it. So basically it has Madness from Magic the Gathering. Uh, basically allowing you to ca uh, cast anything that ends up being discarded. It's the only card that works with Kylo right now. So I'm thinking it's not gonna be that impactful of a deck until we get a critical mass of, uh, of these Madness discard and get to cast them cards for a while. His flip side Clicking on the wrong screen. It's flip side. Uh, so he flips on four when you have four resources. He's at five four, and he gets minus one, minus zero for each card in your hand. Again, this is this is supposed to be a madness deck. This is supposed to be like get all your stuff into your discard pile, uh, get rid of your hand um, with the with the uh, smuggling cards. It's kind of cool that he actually works with smuggling because you're probably going to be trying to discard your discard cards and actually play with your your actual hand is going to be the stuff that you've got smuggled. So I'm thinking that's probably where he's going to be for a while. I don't think he's going to be... I mean, yes, he is a four drop. That puts him as being one of the most aggressive uh, you know, leaders in the game with that big 5-4. If you can turn off his game text, but I don't think they're is any ways really to turn off any game text uh, for while wait a, minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute let's check this out force lightning force lightning force lightning force lightning choose a unit loses all abilities for the space then if you control force unit pay any number of resources deal two damage to try to each resource paid this way <laughs> So we could force lightning our own dude to be able to make him into a 5-4. That's a lot of hoops. That's a lot of hoops. This is like the only card that's going to turn off that downside in the game. We only got one card that's going to combo with him. So yeah, I I I'm giving this I'm giving this a D tier. It's 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 not good. Which kind of sucks because Kylo would probably be really good, but there's a lot of built, lot of, a lot of potential in this card, <clears throat> and yeah, I just, I think it's a future down the road going to be playable card, but right now we just don't have the stuff for it. Um, as for um, what I've been playing for a deck, I've been playing my Chirrut. Um, well, it's just not in my deck. It's another deck that I got list up from somebody else. I forgot to pull it up here in my uh, tabs to be able to show it off to you. Hang on a second. All right, so I uh, couldn't actually 
find the Chirrut deck. I uh, tried looking for it, but uh, yeah, I got my book. I got my notebook here. I got my deck list. Uh, yeah, I'm sure Chir Chirrut Inui is the leader. The Catacombs of Kadira as the base, so the 30 HP red base. You can use either one you want. Uh, I got three Sabines, three Green Squadron A Wings, three Restored Arc 170s, three Fleet Lieutenants, three Wing Leaders, three Fighters for Freedom, three Red Threes, two Yodas, two Cloud City Wing Guard, two System Patrol Craft, three Canyon Jarrus, three K Teweso, uh, two General Denona, three Force Throws, three Four Akaz I believe in, three The Forces with me, three Jedi Lightsabers, three Gorilla Attack Pods, then uh, sideboard is two Spec Force Soldiers, two Disabling Fan Fighters, three Wolves, and three Macon Openings. Yeah, uh, basically the only deck I lost to was a Vader Green. Um, so I ended up, uh, yeah, ended up getting second place. Um, was able to beat a Boba Green player and a, it was a, Mono red Cassian deck in uh, round one, and the Bobo Green was in round two, and it was just the Vader the the Vader Green deck in round three, just totally was able to just clear off all of my units, um, just ruffle stomp me with that Vader activation, just being able to put some damage on, ping everything off. I was trying to like. Do my Vader, do my my Boba Green trick versus Vader, where I'm like I'm just going to ignore the ground and stay in space. But the every time it ended up being my space stuff just kept getting removed. So much removal on that overwhelming barrage and uh, the open fires and it was just and Vader himself. It was just everything I got on the board just kept dying, 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 dying. To the point where I'm like, oh, I have to go to the ground. I, all I got is ground units. I've got to go to ground, and I could not recover from it. I do like the fact that uh, instead of like a lot of the other chirrut decks I've seen online are using Tarkin Town, I did like having the extra extra five HP. Um, it definitely is a swap from the version of chirrut I had been running for a while that was more leaning towards the force uh, characters, force units. And you know, I had like the it binds all things and uh, few other and uh, the forces with me, you know, a few other like I got force guys. Let's 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 use the force and get through there. Uh, I got one more event, uh, one more local tournament before we have our store showdown at Go for Games. So I have one more chance to like, kind of like, mm, see if Chirrut's got what it takes, or if I'm going to have to go back to uh, to my girl. If I'm going to have to go back to Sabine, that's right where I'm sitting at right now. I just I've been off Sabine for a while because I've just been like, it's it's a steady second place deck for me. It's it's usually the whole thing of like, oh, it will win rounds one through three and round four is when the wheels come off the bus um is basically what Sabine is and I'm really 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 like I really want a first place but I'm I'm willing to settle for a second second place uh by playing Sabine or cheer it uh you know I still had a good run with it but I feel like if this would have been a four round tournament like we usually do um because we've clearly got the numbers to do four rounds we only had eight players this past week, so we just did three. So if it's a smaller tournament, I feel Chirrut is a good deck to play in a smaller group because I can usually get two wins out of it. I can go two and two, and it's like those last two rounds with Chirrut is when I really start having my problems. Um, in, unless I get like a bad matchup, bad luck of the draw, uh, round one. But Chirrut's basically been a 50-50 deck, and Sabine has been more of a 75-20 deck for me. And, you know, I, I, I really, really want to store championships, so I'm probably going to have to go back. It all really depends on how I do Wednesday. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's all I really got. I got some notes to talk about Kylo Ren. I want to talk a little bit about uh, Chirrut, my opinion on it. I feel like it's a fun deck to play. 
it, it's good. It's a it's a tier two. It's not a tier. I don't feel like it's a tier one deck for me. Um, but it's it's definitely something I'm like, mm, yeah. I just want to play a few games. I'll, I'll break out the chair deck and play a few games. Um, no feels bad moments with the deck. It really like you have a lot of interaction. You if you if you're if you've got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. It's it's good. But anyways, what's uh, what's everybody else thinking? What's uh, what's been your uh, experience if you've been playing Shirt Red? Leave that down in the comment section below, and I will see you next week with a report from the store showdown in Metairie and here in Louisiana from Gopher Games. And until then, peace. Hey everybody! Thanks for staying till the end of the episode. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, follow us on Facebook at Board Barista Productions, and if you want to support us, Patreon link at the bottom.